All right, first thing we're going to do is the Triassic Welcome Gift. You get a couple free packs, so we'll start off with this one, and then we're going to start opening up, cracking open those real, uh, the real good multi packs. Here we go. Pack opening time. Goats. Oh, yeah. All these new cards. Ah! Super rare. Hey, kind of super rare. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Hunting Grounds. Love it. Please don't update all the strategy decks. Okay, just go. Oh, it takes so long. This is going to be all these new strategy decks. I'd love if all the strategy decks were awesome, but hey. Anyway, looks good. Gourmet pack, no. Alright, so here's the regular packs. There are Triassic uh, packs here. Oh, I actually don't have to turn off my thing. We can just get right into it. Here we go. Buying with gems. I'm going to try to stay kind of free to play with just the packs I get from these 7,000 gems. Not totally free to play. But between this and all our, all our sparks, we should hopefully have enough to get going this season before we start buying packs. I'm super excited. Here we go. Man, all these little common cards I'm seeing, the fact that I just I've never used them before. I'm so excited. Let's see what we get in terms of the big ones. Though so the rares, obviously when you're opening all these packs, the commons and the rares, you basically get all them. It's the super rares and the legendaries. Oh yeah. Oh, pull the legendary in our first one. Very good. More than one legendary? Okay. So that was the first multi-pack, got a super rare and a legendary. You get like one super rare and one legendary per pack, per multi-pack. I guess then I'd only really be getting seven legendaries total, which is not enough, so. I think I'll start off free to play and then eventually people will get sick and say, Fry, you have to buy more packs, okay? Then I'll just give in, but I don't mind making the first, the first decks that I do, you know, relatively cheap. Ramp to Easter Guard, Bad Moon Rising, what? Bird of Paradise with Beta Caratina. Anyway. Keep it going. Those are the commons. Here comes the rares. Here comes the rares. My Ram Swarm deck idea with pirates. Okay, I'm not going to be looking at deck ideas for you guys yet. I'm going to really go and sit and I'll definitely be taking them eventually. I've got four super rares. Way better. And two legendaries. What a better pack. <laughs> yeah, boys. So we got the Strongberry card. Really cool. We got the Fossil Head. And we got Mechasaur. And then we got, you know, this card again. Headhunter. This is really weird. Dancing. Anyway. I don't think the Mechasaur is that good either. Let's try to get some of the, uh, the amazing ones. Strategy decks. Cookie for a stream. Really appreciate you stopping by. I don't know why it makes me go to packs every time, but... Keep it going. Should you uncraft Stompin' on? I don't. I don't think so. I, I'm. I'm. I want to make. You know, one goal I'm gonna have is there's a lot of really OP cards that got nerfed. To try to see if they're still good. I. I. I think Stompin' on still could be used as a win condition. We'll see. To think the best card getting nerfed by one makes it worth uncrafting. Anyway. So that was, I got a bad pack followed by a very good one. I only got one and one in the last pack. Then we got f like four and two. So here we go. Bring on the super rare second hunting grounds. I'll take it. Flick. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we're pulling some legendaries. Give me another one. Just one. Come on, man. So here's Loco Coco. Who knows? Maybe Nut Decks. It's also a fruit. No one cares. Zero people care. Four and one. I guess getting a lot of super rares and then just like one legendary in each pack. I guess that's really kind of a good thing. Legendaries aren't necessarily going to be all that, you guys. Here comes the next one. Should I put, buy some one single packs with my single jazz? Maybe I'll just save up for the next one. Probably won't. Keep it going. I'm going to be motivated to actually get free gems now and actually do my quests. That'll kind of be fun. Who's your favorite hero? Um, Z-Meg. Last season. We'll see what happens this season. Now it's Stompadon and Conman and Fossil Header nerf. Probably not z anymore. Basically gonna get a full set of rares and uncommons. Super rares, another strong variant. Oh yeah. Wow, third hunting grounds. More pets, more mustaches. Looking forward to the mustache synergy decks. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. That's the Untrickable One that grows, and the Allosaurus. Just got the two dinosaurs. Yeah, boy. Will one Allosaurus be really useful? I don't know. 
I'm a little underwhelmed by a lot of the legendaries. I'm more looking more forward to the um, the smaller. It seems like the smaller changes, like all the little things that pet decks got, and I'm definitely looking more forward to those things and to mustache synergy than I am to using all the fancy legendaries, which will actually be suitable if I'm not going to be necessarily going super pay to win early on. Is this the last set? No. They're, they're going to keep going until this game is, you know, as long as people are interested in playing this game, they're going to keep doing it. So, uh, this will definitely cause a boost. I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload this video to YouTube uh, sooner than later. Maybe there's a way to do it. I'll have to upload it from my phone, actually. Good. Maybe it's doable. Alright, got five there. Did you get the new pirate card? Got more of this. Got second Mechasaur. Okay. There's the gladiator card. So getting getting one or two legendaries and then about four le four super rares I think per pack I think that's really good. So yeah, I, all these every single you know, I'm sure I'll, again I'm I'm just speculating when I when I was reviewing the cards I I, I kind of at every single legendary basically went mm, meh it's not gonna be really competitive which would be great it'd be great if the legendaries are only fun and not competitive that would be very um, ethical for a card game in terms of being free to play. But, um, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like the legendaries are actually that good, but who knows. We'll find out, you guys. Did I watch Rick and Morty? Oh, yeah. Alright, got four minutes here. Let's see how many packs we can open in four minutes. Yeah, I'm a big Rick and Morty fan. Alright, there you go. What is this? Oh, here's the spinach. I love the super rare is, like, really good. <laughs> I'm so excited to try to make a deck with with this 0-9 nut and just buff it up. Oh yeah, two legendaries. That's what I'm talking about. Got another Coco. Got another one of these Allosauruses. So, heal decks becoming a th well. They're or they were they were good last season. They were actually good. No one ever used them though. They weren't meta. Man, you know, just to think, Rustbolt, how powerful Rustbolt is in terms of a control hero now. The fact that Flick it made the Hardy class into a control class. Really. Seriously, single-handedly made it into a control class. As long as you just gotta have some kind of hard removal besides for that. Keep it going. Set four hype is continuing, you guys. I'm not gonna have time now to make a deck. Uh, I will obviously be making a lot of decks. Uh, PVZ Heroes be making some Gwent decks too. For all those of you who don't know, I'm about to start streaming that game. Um, but in the meantime, oh yeah, I got Sunstrike. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's up, all these cards? Cause that's my third logo, Coco. Why so many? That's my third Mechasaurus. Whatever. Do you know what? Maybe not decks are amazing. I you gotta try not deck. Come on. So we got again getting a few, a uh, couple legendaries and a few super rares every single time, and that's gonna be it for now. I'll just take a look at my collection before we go. Uh, so basically, it looks like a pretty good haul. If you notice, we're probably going to have basically the full set of all the uncommons and commons. You see, you can see 17.3. I guess there's a few of the rares. I mean, the rares. A few of the rares are missing. It does seem like we did pretty well on the super rares, though. I uh, got three of these. Rotobogas. I'm excited, though. This is going to be great. Splash Control Smarty. I love the Smarty and the Beastie class have obviously always, since the beginning of this game, been the two most pathetic classes. And the fact that they could actually end up being competitive this season. Love that. I love that change of the meta. They can use a whole new class. It's like the Guardian class used to be horrible and became really good. Love to see that happen. I'll go to the zombie side to show you guys the new cards that we got. Here's the total. We got some legendaries. Um, <laughs> I got three of these guys. Mechasaurus. How many mustache cards? I like the fact we got three uh, hunting grounds. Super happy about that. I want to start making those pet decks. That definitely won't hurt. Only got one flick, unfortunately. Knockout. I'm just always going to call it flick. But anyway, craft bird of paradise. I do. I, I'm gonna have plenty of you know crafts. I do have uh, a lot of extra cards here, so we'll um, recycle the text of us. Uh, that's fifteen thousand sparks. So it looks like I am gonna end up with a total of forty thousand sparks. I'll definitely have. I'll definitely have a lot of sparks to be able to craft a lot of these things. You know, each legendary 
Uh, for example, it's only 4,000 sparks. It's only a, it's only 4,000 sparks to craft, so theoretically I can make 10 legendaries. I guess that's not the whole set, but uh, I'm really excited for uh, the new set. I gotta go, you guys. I'm actually uh, flying, um, so I'm good. it's gonna take me a little bit of time before I start actually putting out the decks with these cards, because uh, I'm just gonna travel back home back to Canada, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Really, really excited. I'm gonna be thinking of a lot of new decks, and Hopefully this will get the community back into the game, and uh, it's going to be going really, really strong. Peace! Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Fry. I'll see you next time.